Hey y'all. So today I wanted to do a flip through of my home binder, which I am using my Bible Facts Turned Traveler's Notebook for. Um, I'm gonna do a quick flip through first and just show you what I have in it. And then a lot of people wanted to know how I took my rings out and made it into a traveler's notebook. So I will show you a little overview of how I did that also. This is a personal size Filofax Safiano in the color pear. And I've had it since last year. And um, it's had many uses from in and out of it. And I found my planning groove with Traveler's Notebooks. So I really haven't been using it. So I decided, hey, I've been seeing all of these people take their rings out and make it into a Traveler's Notebook. That would be perfect. So I finally got the nerve up to try it. It was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And yeah, turned it into a Traveler's Notebook. So this is ba uh, basically my home binder. Um, it will stay at home. I won't take this out anywhere. And um, it's not heavily decorated. You see there's nothing here in these pockets. Any important documents or cards I can put here relating to um, you know doctors or appointments or whatever. Uh, my first insert is this budget insert from wonderful.com um i just i printed it out but i don't use it for budgeting what i do is put a piece of washi tape over the top there that covers that part up and i pretty much just use it like a checkbook register so i'll put the balance here and then transactions there and balance there so that is that financial part this is a one of the pocket dashboards that I made. Just a piece of cardstock in there with some quotes. I took that out of my other one and I just stuck it in here. This insert is my um, a meal planning insert and stuck here in the front of it. I just washi taped it in. This is a Um, a master grocery list. I found it. I just googled master grocery list and this was one of the best ones that I found. So I printed this out and um, had to do a little trimming of it to make it fit in here. But um, yeah, I use this when I get ready to make my grocery list to kind of jog my memory, memory excuse me, and see what we need to put on our list. And this one had a lot of stuff that we normally get, so I use that one. Um, this is divided into two different sections, but the first section is our frequent meals. And what I did is just divided it up by categories, like that. And I just wrote down some of the meals that we would normally make during the week. So when I need ideas, I can just come in here and pick something when I'm making out a meal plan, which I'm trying to get better at. The next section is for recipes. And I decided that I would put these in here because I often pin things on Pinterest and it's not hard to go back and find them after you've pinned them, but for recipes that I've pinned that I make and I like and I know I would uh, make the recipe again I want to write them down in here so they are right here at my hand and I don't have to go searching for them on my Pinterest board I started writing one there but got sidetracked yesterday when I was doing that but the rest of the book will be for me to write down those recipes this insert is going to be our pretty much home and family info. I'll have a spread, probably a two page spread for um, each family member to write down important information. Um, I'm gonna do 
home projects, uh, car maintenance, and things like that in this insert. That's the back of the dashboard. This insert, this is the notebook that I got from Dollar Tree. It's a perfect size to fit in the personal size driver's notebook. The lines uh, are a bit wide, but it works for the purpose that I'm going to use before, which is actually writing out my meal plans. So I plan to just write the date here and then just write out the meals that we're going to um, have that week. And I don't normally like to say, oh, well, Monday we're going to have this and Tuesday this because <laughs> it may get to that day and I may not want to make that that day. So I just write out the meals for the week and then you can just go through and pick whichever ones um, you want. So you write out those meals and then go back to the grocery list here and make sure you have everything written down that you need for those meals when you go grocery shopping. So that's what I use this insert for is um, my actual meal planning. And then the last insert is pretty much just the uh, notes or scratch down or whatever. There's an address right there. But yeah, I did write down some information when I was trying to set this up of how I want to set up one of the inserts. Um, but yeah, it's just a write down whatever kind of insert. And I'm going to use my folder here to keep up with any coupons that I may need. I did make this folder. And then this is just the notepad that comes with the file effects. So let me take out these inserts. I always do that. And show you how I did the removal of the rings. Okay. So, as you can see here, there's two holes here. This piece was on the inside, and this these were sticking up through the holes there, and your rings sit on top of that. What I did was took a drill into the holes here and drilled down those rivets there until the, the piece that holds it in was drilled down enough where the rings just pop right off. So that took the rings off. And then this piece was on the inside. So what I had to do was I lifted up this little extra flap here and I made a slit there. And I did the same here at the bottom. I lifted up this little flap and I made a slit across there like that. And then I had to, it's, it's adhered on the inside. So I had to stick, I used the butter knife. I had to stick that on the inside to kind of um, disconnect what was uh, the sticky part that was adhering it to the inside of it. So I had to get between that and get that separated from that. And then I used some small jewelry pliers and just reached off in there and, and pulled it up and pulled it out of the inside. And to close it up, I just used some crazy glue and put on the little slit that I made there and put the flap back over it. So you can't see where I did the slit. You can see a little bit right there, but it's cool. And yeah, then the, the inserts cover that, so it's not really a big deal. And then I just took my hole punch. I have the one where you tap with the hammer. And I just made the three holes in the top and bottom. And then strongly elastic through.